Hey, this is Rusty Walker with the Hill Phoenix Learning Center. And today what I want to do is show you how to change the cores inside of this filter dryer. So we're going to go ahead and get our gauges, pump the system down, relieve our CO2, and get this thing changed. My colleague, Jason, is going to go ahead and close the ball valve that's on the inlet side of the pump. Now he's just stopped any liquid coming from the vessel to go into the pump. Next thing he's going to do is reach over and close the bypass valve. All right. Again, we're all trying to isolate the pump so that we can vent the pump out. Now we've closed the, the uh, vent valve. Now let's go ahead and close the outlet of the pump. Go ahead and close that valve. And now that we've isolated, we've now isolated the pump and the filter dryer from the rest of the system. And now, although we have CO2 in between those valves, we're going to begin to vent the system and, and start venting the liquid out of the system so that we can begin to work on it. So the first thing I want to do is get in here and remove the shader cap. Once I get the shader cap removed, I go ahead and hook my hoses up. I've got my hoses nice and tight. I've got my suction manifold fold closed. Reach over, slowly open the quarter turn valve. All right, now I have it isolated and as you can see on the gauges we're running about 390 pounds of pressure inside the vessel or trapped inside of our line so now I'm slowly gonna open my valve I have my hundred foot hose all the way over to the outside and I begin to watch the pressure drop now I'm going to continue to vent and allow this to the pressure to go all the way down to about 75 PSIG because what I'm trying to do is get rid of as much liquid out of the system as I can. Matter of fact, I have to get all of the liquid out of the line before I can open it up. So otherwise I hit triple point. So we're going to allow the pressure to come down to 75. Remember, your triple point is 60 PSIG. So we're going to stop at 75, which is well above the 60 PSIG that will create the dry ice inside of our system. So I just continue to watch, and this may take a little while, and we'll have to vent it and let it go, but I do have the valve open, and I allow it to, to vent. I'm getting close to 75 pounds as my gauge, so I'm going to slowly close my manifold. Now I want to see if there's any more liquid. Now I watch my pressure a little bit and see if my pressure increases. It's slowly increasing as the liquid, what little liquid is left in the system is boiling out. Now notice most of the liquid is already out. So I'll watch this for a little longer. All right, it seems to have stopped. So I'm slowly going to open it again, come back down to 75. Eighty. right about 75 so then I want to make sure there's no more liquid go ahead and close my manifold and see if I have an increase in pressure I'm still pretty stable I don't see a big rise in uh, pressure but we'll give it a couple of seconds and, and see if we get any increase in that pressure once I no longer see an increase in pressure I know that all I have is 75 pounds of CO2 vapor and so I'm no longer worried about creating dry ice so now I can just open my suction manifold and allow the pressure to vent all the way down to the atmosphere or out, out to zero. Alright, now that we've got the system isolated, in order for us to change this liquid dryer, we've already showed you how you had to isolate the pump and isolate the circuit that the pump is in and then we slowly vented rid of all the liquid and then we totally emptied the system and now we know that from the outlet of the, the vessel to the outlet of the pump that we have no more CO2 inside. So we'll remove the cover off the liquid dryer, take a half inch wrench and we're going to go ahead and start to loosen the flange on the dryer. All right? Just slowly and do it 
in a star pattern. Make sure, go slowly just in case that there's any CO2 still remaining in their line. And I, by opening this up, I can see there's not. So I'm just slowly opening, loosening all these bolts that hold the, the dryer shell on, the cover of the shell. Now this is a two core shell dryer. So as we change these out, we have two cores that we'll go ahead and go ahead and put in. And as you loosen these bolts, remember there's always going to be tension because there's a spring inside the dryer that's going to always be pushing for putting force on there and pushing them back. And as you can see it just popped out there. All right now that the, the bolts are all loose, the plate will come off. Make sure you grab hold of the spring. Set that inside. And I'm going to reach in here, remove the two cores. We go ahead and set them up and get ready to change the cores and put new cores on. As you can see on this one, a little bit of dry ice on the bottom. Well, we had just a little bit of liquid hit 60 PSIG. And you can see it's the dry ice sublimating, going from a solid to a vapor. Now that I've got the cores out of the shell, go ahead and loosen the wing nut. Set it aside, take the caps off, save the washer, the felt. Right, that gasket is a little dirty, so we'll go ahead and replace that as well. Take these, there's our old shell. Set it aside, take the true dryers off, set those aside. Check your screen to make sure it's clean. This looks to be very clean. Just wipe it out a little bit, little shavings on the bottom. Reach in here real quick, back into the shell. Make sure there's no shavings inside of here. If you've got a clean rag, you can clean it with a rag. Getting any moisture that may be in. Now we want to take our new, our new cores. You want to wait until right before you put them in so that they don't absorb a lot of moisture from the air. Open that up. Take them from the can. Put my little felt dryers on there. I put the core back in the, back in the shell, and I take the spring, place it back in here. I take the cover, put a little bit of pressure on here. And then get my bolts, grab a couple of the bolts, and try to start lining these up. Get them started a little. And then remember, anytime, as we get these in, once we get them close to being tight, you want to tighten them down in a star pattern so that the lid goes in nice and even all the way around. All right, now that we've changed the core, we've, we've taken the old core out, we've changed the core, we saw how to do it, we vented down our liquid so that we got to vapor. We were able to vent the vapor. We didn't put any dry ice, I put a little dry ice in it, not much. We were able to change the cores, put the new cores in, pulled it down into a vacuum, charged it to 150 pounds of vapor. Now that we've got all that done, we've got it fully ready. We've got the pump back on. And so that's a quick little video on how to change that dryer core. My name's Rusty Walker. I'm with Hill Phoenix Learning Center, and I'll see you on the next video.